Do not miss out on this video where we explore beyond JEE and discover alternative engineering entrance exams, state level options and other possibilities. Get insights into the top BTech colleges, specializations and what parameters affect your choice. So I have divided the entire thing into certain parts. First of all, there are state entrance examinations and then there are private college entrance examinations. These are the two categories. In the state entrance examination, I'll be taking two common state entrance examinations, one from the eastern part of India, West Bengal J, and the other from the western part of India, which is called MHTCET. We could talk about a few other examinations like OJEE, -E, this is Odisha JE, but every, almost every major state has its separate state entrance examination. So what happens in these state entrance examination is the weightage of physics, chemistry, maths is not always equal. In general, the weightage of mathematics is higher and the weightage of physics and chemistry are lower. Now, what's the diff other difference? The second difference is these are easier compared to JEE mains, but the pa papers are lengthier. Means it takes more time because there are a lot of questions. Not because the questions are difficult, because but the quantity of questions are difficult. So these are the basic colleges at the state level. Every state has their own examinations and to appear in a particular state entrance examination anybody can appear but to get a government college to get a government college for example coep in pune jadavpur university in west bengal government college karar government college aurangabad each major city nowadays seems to have a government college associated with it in pune there is coep in karar there is uh, gce there is bgti in mumbai so every state government government has a few state government colleges so to get a government college to get a government college you would need to have a domicile of your home state and this domicile is a lengthy to produce document the process is cumbersome so you should try to get this document from now itself it uh, it basically proves that you have been living your family has been living in that state for 10 or 15 years depending on the depending on the state's policy. I cannot comment the, on the state policy of individual states, but you could find it on their websites. Now, there are private engineering colleges. There are certain private engineering colleges which are national in nature. So they keep their separate entrance examinations. Traditionally, if you qualify JE and you qualify your state entrance examination, it's enough for all colleges that you might want to go in. Because most of the private colleges accept the scores of either JE or the state entrance examination. But the difference comes in, the difference comes in when we are talking about certain national level private colleges, for example, Bitspina. So let me classify the colleges into two types. There, there is a tier one college tier, which is only through JE. These includes IIT and NIT. Then there are tier 2 colleges, then there are tier 2 colleges, these include the lower NITs and IITs, lower NITs in the sense the NITs which have been opened in the recent years or triple ITs or triple ITs which have been opened in the recent years or the ones which are lower in ranking and cutoff or the student background. And there is one very famous college known as BITS. This is a private college, but this sometimes competes even with the IITs. So I keep this in the tier two colleges. Tier two colleges or tier one colleges are very good. Aapko bahut hi acha student hona padega. Only then can you be a part of a tier one or tier two college. If you are just an average student, you have to work exceptionally hard. If you are a smart student, even then you have to work hard to get a good branch in these colleges. Now. They are generally through a state entrance examination, state entrance examination, which is separate. And these are maths heavy, but easier papers. BITS 
is an entirely boards level paper fits will be completely boards level but it's very lengthy it's very lengthy and you need to be extremely proficient at english and aptitude as well it does not just ask physics chemistry math it also asks you english and aptitude all right so now i want to give a few honorable mentions to some very good tier 2 colleges one is jadavpur university this is in kolkata then there is coep this is in pune then there is vgti this is in mumbai and these are the honorable mentions if these colleges improve further they could also be a part of tier 1 colleges so if you get selected into these these are colleges which can compete with the nits now we want to talk about tier 3 colleges all right so the tier 3 colleges are basically good state government sorry good private colleges the tier 3 colleges include good private colleges top btech top btech specializations top btech specializations बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू मी सब्जेक्ट ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है कॉलेज से इफ यू आर गेटिंग आई आई टी बॉम्बे मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड यू आर गेटिंग आई आई टी आई एस एम धनबाद कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग आई वुड ऑलवेज गो फॉर कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग मेरा इंटरेस्ट है आई शुड नॉट गो टू अब ब्रांच विच आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन और समथिंग आई कैन नॉट स्टडी बट इफ आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन बोथ आई शुड प्रेफर ब्रांच रैदर देन preferring the subject so what is the what are the top btech specializations the top btech specialization is cse computer science and engineering there are other variations called computer engineering or software engineering but this entire field i call this entire thing as computer sciences so computer science is a very broad topic it covers software development web development app development it also covers ml ai ml is machine learning ai is artificial intelligence then there is data science all of these are very important tools which are being used by major businesses and the people who use these tools are paid very well now for ml ai and data science you also need to have a very strong foundation of statistics all right so unless you like statistics or unless you can bear with statistics you won't be able to function in these branches but the other branches in csc do not need statistics very heavily but every branch in engineering needs mathematics if you are not good at mathematics you should not take up engineering you need to first improve your mathematics then you could come up and take up engineering now what are the second set up now certain colleges have started presenting separate dedicated the graduation courses for ai ml and ds artificial intelligence machine learning and data science have their own dedicated courses these courses are of very high quality and agar aapko ds algo ye sab sorry ds ml or ai mein career banana hai it's better to use these courses rather than csc but if you are not clear because you are 18 years old you will be taking a job when you are not a teenager you will be starting your first job at 22 or 23 and that has to continue up to the age of 60 so if you are not sure you should go to a more general branch and csc is a more general branch ai ml are very good branches but these are very specialized unless you are sure you should not go for these then come the industrial branches i call these the industrial branches i know that name is not accurate but it gives you a idea of what these branches stand for these are the branches which work in factories or which are associated with hard engineering older traditional engineering jobs for example a mechanical engineer a civil engineer a chemical engineer a chemical engineer a mining engineer or a metallurgy engineer so what does a mechanical engineer do it a mechanical engineer generally talks about machines all right which machines every machine that you see i am not talking about electronic machines and every mechanical machine that you see including your room heater a mechanical engineer knows about that he knows how your car works he knows how your motorcycle works he knows how major 
factory machines work and that is the entire purview of mechanical engineering for this after you complete engineering you get into a company and they train you they train you for their particular industry if you are working in automobile then you cannot go and suddenly start working in a company which sells refrigerators because that is a very different industry so you'll have to get retrained there's not a lot of portability within mechanical but it is a very good general branch now civil engineering is basically construction engineering there are variations but by and large in india civil engineering is involved with constructions all major cities have construction of apartment buildings we call them flats in our local palaces so jo flats ban rahe hote hain or the roads or the bridges all of this is made by civil engineers and civil engineers generally have a managerial position meaning wo plan banate hain and they make so that the laborers are following that plan the contractors are following that plan many times the contractors are also the civil engineers sometimes the contractors are not civil engineers at least in india now chemical engineering is a very specific type of uh, manufacturing job in this you work in a chemical plant the name gives it away you work in a chemical plant but you don't mix chemicals in a lab you work in an industrial grade chemical plants for example abhi pp kit wala kaam hua tha covid ke karan pp kit bane the so those major chemical plants need mass production of chemicals and that mass production of chemicals like sanitizer or simple things like soap detergent all of this are done in those massive chemical engineering plants then there is mining and metallurgy these are self explanatory how do you extract coal koila kahan se aata hai from mines how do you get iron from iron ore and iron ore is extracted from mines and extraction of that metal from the ground is in mining and when you transform that metal into useful form that's metallurgy now there is another underrated version which is ece triple e basically electronics or electrical engineering there are various names i call these circuital branches i call these circuital branches 